Angry clashes in central Birmingham as right-wing protesters fight with anti-fascist campaigners in a busy shopping street. The demonstration was planned by the English Defence League. They claim to be a non-racist organisation. They say they have no ties to the British National Party. As the group charged along New Street, the rally soon descended into violence. There are reports there are around 250 people in total fighting and throwing bottles at each other. The disorder spilled onto the adjoining Bennett's Hill, a street lined with pubs and popular with shoppers. Dozens of riot police across the city have been working to contain the disturbance. West Midlands police say they're trying their best to keep the peace. We have done everything within the public order powers that we have available to us to restrict that interference, to restrict the repeat of the, of the, um, the events a couple of weeks ago. Um, we have sufficient police resources to deal with any spontaneous situation. So uh, our, our, you know, our policing response is we need to facilitate peaceful protests and we will do that, but we will also prevent anybody that's intent on coming and causing antisocial behaviour or committing crime. We will prevent that and if necessary arrest, prosecute those individuals. People in Birmingham have been giving their reaction to the trouble. Sometimes things just happen suddenly, but to know it's actually going to happen, then it does put another thought in your mind that it's going to happen, so get in your house and lock your doors. My mum told me about what was going on, but to be honest, I feel alright. I'm not too bothered about it. People are entitled to their own opinions, but I don't believe that it should come to physical violence. As long as it's peaceful and they keep it out of the way, I don't think it's a problem. But we've all got a right to talk, so yeah, I think it's fine. It's been confirmed that more than 20 people have been arrested.